Here's how you can install Facebook Pixel on System IO. So in this video, I'm gonna exactly show you how you can install Facebook Pixel on System IO landing page. So this uh, this is a tutorial step by step video. So guys, make sure you watch this video till the end to exactly know how to do it. So yeah, first of all, let's just see its pricing and see what is it about. So yeah, you can get your free account uh, by just putting your email address. But here, as you can see that it has different uh, plans, the free startup webinar and unlimited. So you can choose whatever you would like to and you can get the perks of which one you are using. So yeah, once you have decided to choose your plan, just uh, you'll see this type of dashboard. So this is the main dashboard of uh, system IO. So what you have to do first of all is just go to funnels this option right over here so once you go right over here as you can see that i have a a thing called example but it, you will see your um uh, system.io funnel uh, dashboard uh, empty because you haven't added any status or uh, funnels to it so how do you add them you just press on create so once you press on create as you can see it's asking me for to create a funnel you just name your funnel add you choose your final goal so it could be build an audience or sell or custom or even run an evergreen so how do you do that first of all you name it just name it uh i'm just gonna name it uh, facebook pixel and just choose your funnel goal it's gonna be sale and after that choose your currency whatever your currency is and then save all right so once you press on save as you can see that i have this right over here so once you have successfully made your funnel, just go to uh, your Facebook Meta Business Seed. So you just search up Facebook business business.facebook.com and you will come right over here. So remember that you have to have a Facebook uh, business account. You cannot do this without that. So once you have done that, just go to all tools. So once you go to all tools right over here, as you can see, you get many options, but just go to as manager. So once you go to as manager here, as you can see that I have this, but we don't want to do anything with this. Go back to all tools again and when you're in as manager, go to business settings of as manager. So once you go on business settings here, as you can see that you have more options down to it, but go to data sources. Once you go to data sources, as you can see, you get options of catalog, pixels, offline event sets, data sets, custom and even more. So first of all, just go to pixels and once you go to pixel, as you can see that it's telling me your asset as a new location. We have made some changes to our platform to find your Metapixel data assets, go to data sources and then select the data sets. So they have basically changed their locations and uh, uh, this is basically a newer way on how you can do this. So if, if once you go here, you will see this message on your Facebook business settings, but don't worry, just go to data sets and it's the same thing. So as you can see, in the data sets, I have this and I have already made some data sets uh, or you can say metapixels, metapixels. But if you don't know how to make one for yourself, just, just press on add. And once you press on add and as you can see, it's, it's telling me to create a new data set. Just type in uh, whatever you would like to. I'm just going to type in example. Three.io and press create. So once you do that, uh, it's just going to take a while and here as you can see I have made another data set or uh, I can say pixel. So once you have made that uh, it will say that these people have access but don't worry just go to open in events manager. So once you press on open in events manager and it will take you to events manager tab and here as you can see that I have all the uh, information about it but what you, what can you do about it is just go down there and select the one that you want to work with and here you will see the option of gather website events from browser activity and just press on setup metapixel once you press on setup metapixel you'll see two options so the first option is about check for partner and the, for the other one is install code manually so well, if you press on check for partner you'll see these all these uh, partners but you won't see um system io but don't worry, you just, you just set, press on set of Metapixel and press install code manually. So once you go right over here, as you can see, it's telling us to copy base code. So once you copy the base code, just just make sure you, you've co copied the base code of it because the base code is very important. And uh, after copying the base code, just press continue. And uh, advanced uh, automatic advanced matching, just turn this on and turn everything on and press continue. And 
yeah, just uh, open and it will ask for the URL. So once you're done with that, just go back again to your uh, system IO and press on this. So once you press on this, as you can see that we're here and what once you are here, just go to um, edit. So you, if you can't see any edit settings right over here, just go to inactive page. All right. So once you go to inactive page, as you can see, it's the editor and it's basically the editing area. But and once you go over here, just press settings. And once you press settings down there, once you go down there, you'll see the option of tracking. So in tracking, just uh, press on edit header code. So once you press on edit header code, as you can see, you have to put in the code that we copied. So just press paste in the code that you had. All right. So once you do that, press save. And here, as you can see that we have successfully added the code to it. All right. And you don't need to put any uh, uh, codes and other uh, codes of it. So once you add your code to it, all right. Now you have successfully added the code and everything. Now what you need to do is fold up. Let me paste in the code again. Save. And looks like it's good and working now. All right. And once you do that, just press save changes. And once you press save changes and it's basically done and you have added the, um, the tracking. So once you do that, just, just copy, uh, the website link. And here, as you can see, you have basically copied and uh, this uh, thing and just go back to your funnel settings. And here, as you can see, I have uh, basically added the Facebook tracking IO uh, the, to my system IO. And this is where you will uh, see your funnels you created. So choose a template to start building it. So you need to choose a template for it. So let us select uh, the template for our landing page. So you have to select the template. Uh, and I'm just going to select a random uh, template of them. And here we go. Now, what what you can do after that, and here, as you can see, you have the URL path. Just copy the URL path. All right, once you copy the URL path and you have done that, just go back here and even set up and press paste. And uh, we haven't received any. Just ignore that and it, it will say uh, open website once like your uh, Facebook meta is uh, uh, loaded and your uh, system IO configuration is done. It, it will take uh, almost one to two hours. So don't worry about it. So once you like um, copy it and there you have it and just just check it just check it after like um an hour or maybe uh, two hours because it could take uh, maybe hours to configure. So yeah, like once you have done configuring and their uh, stuff. Just say, yeah, just good. Just just press on open website and here as you can see, it's not opening the website for me right now because it has been like configured. So once you do that, you are just basically good to go. And here, as you can see right over here that I'm basically done and I have did my work and yeah. And I, I have did my, I set up my face, uh, landing page on uh, with my Facebook pixel. So yeah, that's basically it on how you can uh, set up uh, your Facebook pixel to system IO. And that's, that's how you can install it. So yeah, I will help you guys out and that's it for this video until then. Goodbye.